Memorable melodies and a pop punk vibe are what this Florida band is known for. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking with Ryan Key, lead singer of Yellow Card, about his idols and icons and how the band got to where they are now. I'm gonna leave you now. There's nothing for me here. It's all the same. Why don't you give us an idea about how you came to uh, join Yellow Card and kind of the journey? I was friends with the guys in high school. I had my own band, uh, but I was super involved in, in theater. I went to the, our high school as a theater major. I was planning on going to university. We did go to university uh, to get a theater degree. Um, but I was a big part of the music scene in Jacksonville, Florida, where we grew up. We were always playing shows on the weekends. And the Yellow Card was much more serious about their band than my band was about ours. One of my buddies who is no longer in Yellow Card and no longer a buddy, unfortunately, he asked me to come and play some of the songs he heard with Yellow Card because their singer was going to be quitting. I wasn't supposed to be the singer either. I was just going to play guitar and write songs with them. Got in the studio and I guess singing wasn't going the way they wanted it to go. And so they were like, hey dude, you get in there and sing it. And at this point I felt like, whoa, like I'm the new guy. I don't even know if I'm going to do this full time. And now I'm stepping all over his, this guy who's been in the band. It was really awkward. So it was a rough start, even for the first I mean, two or three years, it was hard to solidify the lineup and get everybody focused, go in the same direction. Um, just because I think our band was a weekend, you know, play in a backyard party garage band that hoped to get on the Warp Tour one day, and then all of a sudden we were this big, huge band, and it's really hard to keep five individual personalities, you know, all focused on the same goal. There's a place off Ocean Avenue where I used to sit and talk with I wanted to know who you grew up listening to and like who you consider your idols and icons. Uh, I started playing guitar like every kid my age did because Nirvana Nevermind came out. I mean, I don't have a less cliche answer than that. I was just into pop music, that's what I grew up listening to. And then all of a sudden there was this band and it just changed everything. And right at the same time, then there was Weezer and Green Day and, you know, Pearl Jam. I was a huge Pearl Jam fan. But then when I was about 16, one of my best friends gave me a uh, no Use for a Name record. And that record changed my life. And then I was into No Use and Lagwagon and Strung Out and Propagandi and uh, No Effects, Bad Religion, and the list goes on and on and on. Those bands really changed my life as far as the style of music and the sound of music and the style of songwriting that I went for. You know, I never like grew a mohawk and and really live that punk rock of a lifestyle, but um, but I love the music. Now, however, strange to say, I think my favorite band of all time is Coldplay, which is just the ultimate other end of the spectrum of all of those bands. Did not see that coming. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's safe to say, like, it's been over a decade and they've put out, you know, five, six, seven records worth of material. I mean, if they're not, you know what I mean? It's not a new, it's not a fad anymore. It's a, it's a real thing. Their songwriting is just the most inspiring thing in the world to me. And I mean, when I need music, when I need a band, that's my band. I want to talk about Yellow Card's evolution from album to album, how you see it. There's never been a plan for Yellow Card. We've just done what we wanted to do. I guess I hope to believe, or I like to believe that we evolve and mature as songwriters, you know? But it's hard to put into words, like, the evolution of the band. I mean, we just, we just try and get better at every record. I like to think I'm a better vocalist than I was 10 years ago. I've worked really hard. I had no idea how to sing when I started. And it was a challenge because I would lose my voice all the time. So doing a record, I feel more confident singing and writing melodies that are a little more challenging to sing. So we're a band that's all about melody. You know, I think that's why Coldplay is such an inspiring band for me because even if they're not singing lyrics, they're the melody, whatever they're singing, you're going to remember for the rest of your life. You know, every single hook is is that good, and so we are a band that, within our genre of music, tries to do that same thing. Yeah.